Welcome to Beit Yahwa. Um Good morning and welcome on this wonderful Shabbat. Uh, Minister Ab, Ab, I am uh, Abd El Ilah. I'm uh, giving this to you just to help you along on the path to the full truth in Christ Jesus. Now, uh, you have made an objection to the idea of the image of our Lord Yehoshua the Mashiach. Whether it is the image or not, I'm not sure. But you have made an objection on the grounds of the second commandment. The first two commandments state this, or the first commandment states this. I am Yahweh, your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall not have any other gods before my face. So the first thing is this. The first commandment commands that we are to worship Yahuwah, our God. Now, you bear the name servant of the Muslim God. I don't say you are a Muslim, because it is true to say that before that name became a proper noun for Muslims, it was a common noun among the Christians in Aram, Aram, the Aramaic-speaking lands. It wasn't an Arabic name, it was an Aramaic used name, and they probably pronounce it something like Olohu or something like that. So I, I would say this. You've selected a name which means slave, but Yahweh brought the people of Israel out of the house of slavery. Yeah, huh? And it was Yahweh who brought them out. It was not a God by the name which you are bearing. So as much as you object, to the idea of an image being that of Jesus Christ, which it could well be, we do not know. You need to also take into account the fact that you cannot worship with a false name either. Now, the Arabic word for God, the common noun for God in Arabic is Elah. It is not the word you have there. And Elah is spelt uh, Aleph Lam Ha. Elah. So if I want to say my God in Arabic, I would say Ilahi, my God. Okay? Now, there is, and uh, obviously this is confirmed by the fact that the first part of the Muslim religion's confession is La Ila, which means no God. That means the word for God in Arabic is Ila. Okay? So if you are going to be truly, uh, if you're a follower of truth and you really do believe the word of God, the Bible, <laughs> then you might call yourself Minister El Ila, Minister of the God. Okay? Instead of taking on the name of a God, which is worshipped by many people, but it is not the God of the Bible. And no one in the Bible prayed five times a day. No one in the Bible ever said the Shahada. No one in the Bible went ever on a pilgrimage to Mecca or Medina. So this is not the God of the Bible. This is not the revelation of the God of the Bible. His name is Yahuwah. So really, your name, if you want to be a slave or a servant of anyone, your name should be Abd Yahuwah or Ab. Yeah, Abd Yahuwah. That would be a good name if you want to serve the truth. Second thing is, is on the issue of images. Second commandment states, You shall not make for yourself any images of anything in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahuwah, your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but keep in covenant with the thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Now, this commandment is given from Yahuwah to his disciples. I mean, uh, to the people of Israel. Okay? The second thing, the, the thing about that is this. Yahuwah is free to command a prophet to make an image. The commandments are specifically a covenant between Yahuwah and the sons of Israel. Okay? So if Yahuwah commands David in his revelation of the temple to have the image of, uh, for example, uh, bulls holding up the water where the priest had to wash, Yahuwah is free to do that. But even as Yahuwah was given these ten commandments, he was giving them in, and he was placing them in a box called the Ark of the Covenant which was the room 
where those Ten Commandments were placed. They were on two tablets of stone. I call them Ten Commandments. The word calls them Ten Devarim, the Ten Messages, okay? Or the Ten Words. So, they were on two tablets of stone and they were placed in an ark. That ark was covered with a golden lid which had two cherubim, which are beings which are around the throne of God, carved out on top of it. But not only that, when Yahuwah taught Moses what to design for his uh, instruments or his temple, he also had him design a menorah or a seven-headed candlestick which has the almond blossom. It is in the form of the almond blossom. Now this would also, if we read the commandment as you do, contradict the commandment. The commandment says, You shall not make yourself any images of anything in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or under the earth. Right. So are there almond blossoms under the earth or on the earth? Yes, there are. Yet Yahuwah commanded the people of Israel to make a menorah with these almond blossoms. Is this a contradiction? No, it is not. Why? Because Yahuwah is the one who gave the covenant to Israel, and they should not make for themselves. Lecha. Okay? So, Enochi Yahuwah Elochecha, Lo Yihyeh Lecha. Lecha means to you. You don't make for yourself. But, that does not mean Yahuwah cannot have his people make for his sake some images. It is not removing all the images. They used to carry the Ark of the Covenant around with them, and that Ark of the Covenant was covered by two flying creatures called Cherubim. Amen? And what? And one of those Cherubim, in fact, in heaven it's described that there are four Cherubim, or Seraphim, and uh, they may not be the same beings, but anyway, these four creatures, one of them had the head of a man, the other had the head of an eagle, the other one had the head of an ox, and the other one had an a head of a lion. These are all creatures, and they were images. Uh, they were there were images made of them. Now, also in the wilderness, uh, Moses was commanded to make an image of a serpent. Now, notice this: Moses was commanded. The commandment says, "You shall not make for yourselves." Now, if Yahweh decides to have Moses make something, this is not the same as making for yourselves. Why? Because the command to make and the command not to make came from the same God, Yahuwah. Now, because there are religions out there who have imitated Yahuwah on the issue of not making certain images, but they have images anyway all over their uh, uh, edifices. If you go in them, they have images of a... Uh, if you go to Turkey and you go to other countries, they have images of uh, words images of flowers, but it says you don't make your images of anything in the heavens above, on the earth, below, or under the earth. But the commandment is given to Israel. Okay? If Yahuwah decides to allow or command the making of an image and gives Betzalel, who was one of the great artists of the time of the Ark of the Covenant, the spirit of, 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 of wisdom in being able to make these things, we have to accept Yahuwah's position, Yahuwah's authority. Amen? For it is Yahuwah who is in charge. No other God, including the God which you have on your name, okay? The God of the slaves. The, the, the slave God, you could say, because the, everyone who worships that God calls himself a slave, and that makes that God a slave owner. Our God, we worship him through being children, and the slave does not have a permanent place in the home. The Bible, Jesus said that, Slave only has a temporary place in the home. And Paul said, the bond slave, the children of the slave woman, will not inherit with the children of the uh, free woman. And the slave woman was Hagar, and she had Ish Ishmael, and his descendants have produced the slave religion. So all I'm doing is encouraging you to look a bit more carefully, not just at the words as they are translated into modern English, and you need to look more carefully at them because you couldn't say the commandment, but you need to go back to the Hebrew and the Greek and the historical context in the Bible, the biblical context, for the commands. And you'd recognize that we cannot carry walk around with this title, Minister Ab, servant of another God. If you want to be uh, coming accurately to the truth, you need to be Minister Ab, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Um, ed, 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 right, that's good. Yahweh be with you. Yahweh cause you to come into the fullness of the truth. In Jesus' name. Amen.